WHDD presents Susan Says. I could not believe the mess that was the Democratic debate this week, starting with the moderators or so-called. Nora O'Donnell and Gail King set back women's rights about, oh, 100 years. What the? No one listened. No one said anything. But they screamed a lot. Hands were waving. And the quote-unquote moderators were silent or vainly attempting to interrupt and get control. And are you kidding me? Food fight. Elizabeth Warren still has not gotten over the fact that Bloomberg gave money to her opponent in the Senate race back in the day. Yeah, that's it, folks. She was ridiculous. I used to like her and admire her. Uh Uh-uh. What is Tom Steyer doing? Anyway, he was lovely about impeachment, but bye-bye. Bernie is angrier than ever, and his bros insist they will not vote for anyone else. Remember, people, he is not, never was, never will be a Democrat. Oh, God, help us. However, on the good news side, two town halls were amazing. Bloomberg and Joe Biden on CNN each showed their true colors. They had the time, the form. It impressed me. The problem is no one was watching except the already CNN-minded, so that's too bad. These debates do not work, folks. Town halls do. Back in the quote-unquote White House, the moron-in-chief rambled on about God knows what, while saying the coronavirus, which he misspelled, he thinks it's a cigar, is not too bad, but it might be, it is, but it won't be, huh? He puts Mike Pence in charge. So, I guess we will pray it away and Mother will help us. The rambling insanity that is our so-called president is so orange now, he can be used as a pumpkin. His eyes are already cut out. Who looks like that? I'm surprised he didn't attack Dr. Anthony Fauci, the world authority on health, for being short. That's his go-to, isn't it? He did seem so surprised about the flu, killing people. Yeah, what a shock. The stock market's falling, but he blamed it on the Democrats, of course, probably Obama. Oh, and for a germaphobe, he looked a little concerned, though. He does know great people. These great people are going to do what? Somewhere. Somehow, get in there. Cough on him, please. Susan Silver was one of the original writers of such TV classics as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Maud and Bob Newhart. She lectures and teaches sitcom writing and had a column on the New York Social Diary called The Search for Mr. Adequate. She hasn't found him yet. Appearing on TV and radio often, she expresses her views on life and opinions on everything.